What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some new WWE Elite figure news for you guys and it is on some figures that are possible leaks. I'm pretty sure these are leaked. I, I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm about 95% sure these are going to be accurate Elite sets. So let's go ahead and get started with it and take a look right here. So this news does come from the Wrestling Figure Forums, guys. If you don't know what that is, it is a website that you can go on. A lot of people, you know, talk figures. They get a lot of information from all over the world and country about brand new WWE figures coming out. And I did get this information from my boy Christian from Unstable1047. Go check out his channel. But you guys can see here, it does say this is an updated look at what could be Elite Series 66 and 67. You, of course, have 66 at the top there with AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Nikki Cross, Kevin Owens, Elite figure 23, presumably Eric Rowan, and then elite figure Luke Harper. And um, we saw a lot of these figures at Comic-Con. I will put them up on the screen for you guys. Of course, Nikki Cross, we did see her, and we did see both Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. They were the Bludgeon Brother Elites. Those figures, of course, were shown at Comic-Con. You know, we did get the elite renders or whatever during the panel. We saw these figures, so these definitely um, are most likely lining up. You know, we saw the renders, and now we're getting the leaked, f or the leaked news about it, so it does add up. Those are most likely what's going to be in Elite 66. And then if we take a look back at the list, guys, at Elite 67, it says Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Cedric Alexander, Velveteen Dream, and Shayna Baszler. Of course, at Comic-Con, along with those Nikki Cross and Bludgeon Brother Render Elites, we did see Daniel Bryan, Cedric Alexander, Velveteen Dream, and Shayna Baszler, if you guys do remember. I think uh, none of those were colored at the time, but we did get the gray images. I'll pop them up on the screen so you guys remember remember, and um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be what lines up. I mean, at first, I thought that Velveteen Dream and Shayna Baszler were for sure going to be NXT Target exclusives, but it looks like the they are going to be a part of the main line, which I am totally happy for because, you know, those NXT Target exclusives are absolutely tough to find, so I am all happy if they are not included in that line. If they're a part of the regular Elite line, sign me up for it, Brad, because I will most likely, you know, be able to grab them because the NXT Target exclusives, like I said, are are very much hard to find. So those are the renders we're looking at right there. And now I kind of want to talk about, you know, what could the other figures be? What could the other figures in the sets actually be? Since we don't have any images or anything like that of those figures. And I want to talk about that for just a second. So starting out at the top, guys, with Elite 66 AJ Styles. Honestly, you know, we've had three different Elite AJ Styles in black. We had the Elite 47, his first Elite, which was his debut attire. We had his Elite 51, which was like his, you know, silver, sort of like his Backlash attire, but it had more silver, no gray in it. And then we had his, you know, most recent Elite with the USA attire, his United States Championship attire. We've had his blue attire. We've had, you know, his white. And now we're getting, with the top talents line, we're getting his WrestleMania 34 attire. So hopefully with this AJ, I'd like to see a red Elite or maybe, you know, uh, um, like near his start of his WWE run would be cool. I personally, if I could pick an attire, uh, if it wasn't WrestleMania 34, I would like to see his Elimination Chamber attire. I believe that was the one where he wore the white and black. If I'm not mistaken, it was the white attire. I would love to see that one or a red elite. I really want a red attire, AJ Styles, and I think that would go perfect with Elite 66. Honestly, I cannot think of one that sticks out that would be right here for Elite 66, but I would guess it would be one that he wore in 2018, preferably this year. I mean, that would make the most sense. For Kurt Angle, I would love to see his SummerSlam attire. You know, we got it in basic form. I would like to see that converted into an Elite, preferably. Or one of his, you know, early 2000s runs, like uh, maybe with his hair still. I would like to see that. Any attire, honestly, for Kurt Angle works for me. As long as it's not one of his ones that he wore this year, you know, or in 2017. I don't want to see any of his current day Kurt Angle attires. I don't want Survivor Series. I don't want any of that. I don't want his WrestleMania 34 attire. I don't want anything current day. Day. I want, you know, prime time angle, either early 2000s attitude era. That's what I would like to see for Kurt Angle's Elite. Nothing else would be good for me. Even though I'll grab it anyways, I preferably would like an early 2000s ruthless aggression Kurt Angle or an attitude era. For Kevin Owens, guys, it's kind of tough. I have a ton of custom Kevin Owens, so honestly, whatever they make, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have already because I've made so many different customs, you know, with decals and such, so any Kevin Owens really isn't going to matter. I hope we get a good head scan. That's probably the biggest thing for me. I want a really good Kevin Owens head scan, even though the one that they've given us, um, besides the Elite 61 or whatever, or Elite 60, yeah, it's Elite 61, I really didn't like that, uh, that head scan, that real technology. The hair was all wacky. 
But if I had to pick, I'm pretty sure it'll be probably his United States Face of America attire, or it'll be you know one of the either the the gray one from Hell in a Cell, or it'll be the yellow one. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. It's just going to be a slapped on logo. So I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. I have a custom of it. I'm sure, anyways. Moving down to Elite 67, guys, Jeff Hardy. This, honestly, is a very important figure to me. Hopefully, it is a flashback Jeff Hardy. You know, we've been waiting on a flashback Jeff Hardy forever, and I hope it's either Attitude Era or sometime when, like, an 07-ish or a 2007-ish would probably be the best. Um, I either want, you know, Team Extreme type Hardy, or I want, you know, his singles run when he started breaking out on his own, or, you know, Ruthless Aggression Hardy would work for me. But, you know, I just, I think this figure is very, very important to the line. I think a lot of people are going to be banking on this Hardy to be a great figure. Uh, people are really, really hard on the Jeff Hardy figure, so they definitely need to deliver on this one. Honestly, it really doesn't matter what Jeff Hardy it is. I'm going to grab it anyways because, you know, Jeff Hardy, big, massive Jeff Hardy fan. So I will be grabbing it regardless, but hopefully they give us a flashback Hardy. I think that's what everybody would want. And finally, guys, we do have the Viper Randy Orton, my second favorite wrestler of all time. I think that this one's very important as well because I think that this needs to be a flashback. If they give us two flashbacks, um, it looks like in the last few sets, guys, they've really gotten away from flashbacks. And that's kind of scary because I think that the flashback collectors are really getting worried about that. Um, hopefully, this one's a flashback. Like, uh, if I could pick, they need to make Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton flashback because we've had a ton of current day Randy Ortons. I really don't know what attire they could pick. Maybe his 2017 Royal Rumble win or something like that. But I'm sure it'll be current day, right? So I guess it would probably be right when he returned from injury or whatever. Maybe like around the time he fought Jinder Mahal in the Punjabi prison. Or I, I really don't know. It's kind of tough to tell with this one. I really cannot tell you what they could go with. Um, maybe a WrestleMania 31. I really don't know because it's going to be, if it's not, you know, a flashback, then it's going to be a current day attire. And all his current day attires are pretty much the same. So I honestly have no idea where they could go with this. They've already given us WrestleMania 33. So, I mean, it's really a toss up. But if I could pick, it would be probably, you know, Backlash 2004, Unforgiven 2004. He had a lot of great colorful elites back in the day when he was with Evolution and the Legend Killer gimmick. So I think that one of those would be the best. But that pretty much does it for your Leak WWE Elite Figure News, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below your favorite figure that is leaked, presumably, here in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.